Okay, can you, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't, what, can you say that again? Um, yeah, hi, Claudiana, this is, um, Shelly from HR. From HR, okay. Me? No, I don't remember you, but what's going on? Well, we had a discussion a couple weeks ago about your absenteeism and tardiness. Okay. Do you know what time you have to be clocked in at work? Six o'clock. Yeah, 6 a.m., Okay. So, unfortunately, on 7-18, you clocked in at 6-12. Wow. We had a discussion about that. 12, 12 minutes. Yeah, but, you know, the, they're waiting on you to be there, it clocked in and ready to work at six. Okay, okay. So, so, your employment is really going to be terminated as of today, because also, on 7-28, you clocked in at 6-21. 21 minutes. Yes, that's 21 minutes of company time. But I still, I still work though. Like I still like, why didn't y'all tell me that today when I was just at work? Because I handle all the HR, so they wanted me to call you because we had that discussion, remember about. And that was the day that I let my, I, all right, keep going. So you were also on 8-8, you clocked in at like 6.32. That was it. Okay, so I let my cousin use my car the night before, and he didn't bring it. He overslept or something. He didn't bring it back till the morning. So like, I still that made it though. Literally like nine days after we talked. So, and then on eight twelve, you just did a no call no show. That was my birthday, August twelfth. That's my birthday. Like, I already you didn't told you that day off work though. But y'all, you that's my birthday. I'm not. Birthday. No, I'll, no, that's for all right. Everyone okay. works on their birthday. Even I worked on my birthday. Mm, y'all too grown for me. Well, unfortunately, okay. I just need you to turn your keys in. And your I'll be there tomorrow because that's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. Like, what? Like, what? What? No. A TikTok video posted by at We Sick and Tired, end quote of a woman who recorded herself being fired from her job has gone viral, not because she was let go, but for her response to it. They called her at home on Zoom, clearly fearful that she was gonna go ballistic. You understand what I'm saying? They clearly were scared, they clearly were scared. See, I'd have fired her ass to, my, to her face. I'm telling you that right now. She wouldn't have made it out the door with me. She wouldn't have made it out the door with me. I'd have been like, don't come back, drop your key off right now. Goodbye. You know, oh, that's my birthday, though. I mean, my goodness. I mean, that's my birthday. What? What? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I, I, was, I, was, I was waiting for her to go. She didn't. I, 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 I scared me. <laughs> Excuse me. Really? Damn. Damn. Y'all have a nice Labor Day weekend. I'll holler at y'all. I don't want anybody here to think I'm shooting at y'all. Because I'm not. I have a very punctual crew here. But does anybody want to hear what it sounds like in the real world when people are late a bunch of times to work? Sure, I'll play it. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Hi, Tatiana. This is um, Shelly from HR. From HR? Okay. No, I don't remember you, but what's going on? Well, we had a discussion a couple weeks ago about your we had a discussion. absenteeism and tardiness. Okay. Do you know what time you have to be clocked in at work? Uh oh. Six o'clock. <laughs> yeah, 6 a.m. Uh oh, <laughs> look, look. Wait. Okay. So, unfortunately, on 7-18, you clocked in at 6-12. Wait. Wow. We had a discussion about that. 12, <laughs> 12 minutes. Wait, look. She said, wow, look, 12 look, look, minutes. Look. Wait, look, yeah, look. 30 minutes. Oh, I, I let my cousin borrow the car and he, he overslept, so he brought me the car back like like, like it's his fault. You know what That's I not his fault. I That's never... your fault. You get it? Tatiana? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the fact that she even is brave enough to record this whole entire phone call as if she's the one being violated, when you actually violated the job, the rules, and didn't even turn up at all for your birthday. It's interesting how she you're too grown for me because it's true. You're very childish. I don't know how old she is. 
but you must either be fried in the head that you just don't know how to act your age or you're just so young that you don't care and you're just gonna do whatever you want to do but either way the job had every right to fire her and i'll be honest after the birthday they should have fired her and what that really tells me is the birthday was really the last straw they just let her off but that's no excuse to not turn up to work did you book a holiday did you ask for a day off no you just decide to not turn up for your birthday you're not a child anymore listen no one cares about these females birthdays you know these females do birthday week birthday month birthday year no one cares about your birthday except for you not your job no one cares about it only the females around you that has the same mentality as you the job did nothing wrong if anything i think they dragged their foot with her and gave her so many chances that i wouldn't be even willing to be given to give a female who doesn't who decides to just not turn up to work because she wants to it's not just because it's her birthday you just choose to do whatever you want to do you choose not to turn up you choose to be late and look at how you talk to your colleagues to the hr no respect just rude she thought this video was gonna save her she somehow thought that she was in the right so i think the hr handled it perfectly and did the best that they could and like i said i'm surprised they allowed her to stay in that job for this long not with that attitude and not with the way she works she thinks just because she works to be honest your attitude already lets me know you don't even work that well you're lazy lazy minded have an i don't care attitude no one wants to work with that they probably all despise you in that job but because you're working there they just deal with you until they can't deal with you no more and this female has 200,000k followers on instagram and these type of females think that if you go online and show it to your followers and make it go viral that they're gonna stand up for you that they're just gonna ride your cocktail all the way to the hr to the job and say that they treated you wrong that you got fired for no good reason no all you did was expose yourself not just to everyone but those followers as well and anyone that agrees with this behavior is too stupid to know better or too stupid to care or just outright just have the same dusty attitude like this female does and she felt confident enough to do it and to record it to be honest she already knew that her time was running out in that job With everything that she said with her attitude in the back of her mind she already knew that she was I hate to say it in a sense but taking the piss so to me she got what she deserved i'm your hostess red minute princess these are my last thoughts a lot of these females they're really giving black women a bad reputation and i know a lot of females say well why do you always target black women black females black this black that well one thing is my target audience is black because i'm black but secondly i feel that people need to show you black females how you're like i think it's important that black females see what they're doing see what they're like and see how it's making everybody else in the black community look like and if you really think that you don't represent the black community then you're either too slow too dumb to even understand that concept let me know what you think thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye